Hello everybody, this is Shell Ninja and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you my Hyperland configuration. I mean what I have configured and how everything works. So without wasting any more time. Oh wait, I have a separate video on the installation process. I'll provide the link in the description. So finally, without wasting any more time, let's get jump into the video. Alright, after you log in for the first time, just press Super Shift H to see all the key bindings. Here you'll find every keyboard shortcut used in the config. Okay now let's start from the way bar. To change the layout, press Super Control W to select the layout. I choose this one. Okay, so at the very left, we have the app launcher. When we'll left click on it, the Rofi app launcher menu will appear. And one more thing which I forgot to record. If we right click here, the Yazi file manager will open. And then we have a system info module. Left click to check your CPU, memory and disk usage. And then we have a weather module, which will be showing temperature according to your time location. In the center, we have our workspaces. Nothing to show here, I guess. In the right side, we have our tray icon. Current available updates, which will be showing for Pac-Man and AUR Helper for Arch Linux, DNF and Zipper. And then the volume info. After that, we have the idle inhibitor module. Night light. Clipboard and network module. And finally, the clock and calendar. And now, let's have a look at the Rofi app launcher. Press Super D to open it. To change its theme, press Super Alt D. Currently I have only 5 themes available. You can suggest me more. I'll try to add those in this config. Now just select one of them. And then the theme will be applied. Now let's change the wallpaper. Press Super W to change it randomly. By default, Hyperpaper Engine will be the wallpaper engine. As you can see, colors have been applied according to the wallpaper. In the background, Pi will have been used to achieve this. Oh, I have pressed Super Shift Return to open the terminal in floating mode. Normally, Super Return will open the terminal in tailing mode. Now press Super Shift W to choose wallpaper. Well, I am zooming using Super Z. Let's change the waybar theme and set it to the left. Now let's change the border radius and border size. Press Super S. It will show what you can change easily. Just select using your space bar. Okay, let's change the wallpaper engine. Press Super Alt E. Here you can choose between SWWW and Hyperpaper. Now let's see the lock screen. Press Super, Shift, L to lock your system. The lock screen is cool, right? Even you can change it. Just press Super, Alt, L to select your lock screen theme. Here you will find a user image. You can add your own image here. Just follow the process. Open your file manager. 
Copy the image location. Open the terminal and run a script. Type dot config slash hyper slash script slash add underscore user. Paste the image location and press enter. Make sure to use a square image. Alright, if you are watching till now, thanks a lot. So how would you add your favorite wallpaper? Just visit to the wallpaper directory inside your .config slash hyper directory. Here you can add more wallpapers. Okay, let's change the waybar layout again. I am gonna choose the skew left now. Isn't it cool? One more thing, if you want to update to the latest commits of the hippoconf repository, just press super control U. It will ask you for update the config. I am canceling for now. And to update your packages, just press control U. So that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, then please hit the like button and let the YouTube algorithm know that this video is useful and others should know about this topic. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with a new video with more updated config soon. Till then, goodbye.